Hey guys, today is a special squishy makeover. Why is this episode so special? Well, because it's gonna be dedicated to a single makeover. No, I wanted to see more than just one. I hate you. Hold on, this is not just any old squishy. As you can see, it's a uh, huge one giant squishy. Since I'm only doing one makeover, I'm gonna go all out. And I'm gonna bring in a bunch of squishies to add on. So let's have a strawberry or two, a little ice cream cone, one banana, two banana, and a giant ice cream cone. Well, I used to think that this was giant. Mm. Uh, ooh, and another, okay. Oh, yeah, and that. So that's 10 squishies total. This is gonna get interesting. Let's jump into squishy roasting. So aside from being just obnoxiously large, this squishy has some major issues. Like, what is that? What is that? It's got huge rips and missing chunks, and of course, a giant belly button on the front. The belly button is deep. Like, it goes all the way through. It is very fun to play with, though. Squishing, poking, massaging. I may have gotten a little carried away. Oh my gosh, it's alive. Don't talk to me, I'm shy. First thing, I'm gonna get my scrap foam bag. AKA the underwear bag. And why is there underwear in here? And cut a small piece to stuff inside of there. What's happening here? <laughs> Okay. Once I have a piece that fits, I'm gonna take my fabric fusion and fuse it. Now, about this. I'm just gonna cut an oversized chunk of foam and stick it in there. I try to use a rubber band to hold it like I normally do, but this squishy is just so daggone fat and just bulging around the rubber band. So I use a chip clip instead to hold that in place. While that's drying, I'm gonna go back to the other situation and trim it up a bit. Oh. It kind of looks like a giant pimple, ew. And I'm just using some tiny little scraps of foam to try to blend it in a little bit more. And back over to this. Get rid of the chip clip, it'll come back to shape. In the meantime, I'm gonna paint over that patch job to seal that in all nice and secure, bam. I'm gonna trim up the other repair so that it looks somewhat decent. It has this like weird saw blade thing going on with the rips, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm just gonna glue all of them up and then I'm just going to use some puffy paint on the outside over the rips to reinforce them. That's better. Here's where it gets interesting. I'm going to make a big dessert bowl kind of thing. You'll see. This is obviously going to be the bowl. So I'm cutting a slit straight down all the way around. Woo! Look at them go. And then start cutting horizontally, you know, into the flesh. Oh. Hmm right through there, really get in there. Yoo -hoo -hoo. I don't wanna go in too deep because I want everything that's inside to be visible, you know? Ah, nice, there it is. Why is the inside of the foam sticky? Why, why is it sticky? Before we start bringing it all together, we gotta get everyone right individually, starting with these two bananas. This one seems to be doing all right, missing a chunk and some random like stains, but it's okay. This one is a little bit more tragic. It's definitely more green than the other one. I guess it's not ripe yet. Also, you know, it's ripped in half, which is great. The problem is I want these bananas to be naked, but I was having some trouble peeling them. I don't know why. <sighs> okay. Surgery is the only option. I'm just gonna cut away the parts of it that make it look like it's inside the peel. You know, the top, the bottom. Round off the corners a little bit. There, it's naked. Patch up the hole, seal everything with puffy paint. It looks so much better than it did before. Now the injured banana, glue up the rip, done strip it naked, and paint over the scars. Wonderful. Next, these ice cream cone twins, or you know, they could be friends that just look kind of similar. I don't know what the situation is. This one has a big plastic clip on it, which is kind of tacky. The paint job is super sloppy. And then the friend has some minor rips. It's supposed to be vanilla ice cream, but it kind of looks like chocolate because it's extremely dirty. <laughs> so to start, I'm just gonna rip that thing out. 
and decapitate it. <laughs> that got very violent very quick. I'm just gonna be using the top of it today, but I will save the cone in case I happen upon a lonely ice cream scoop looking for a home. Also, I'm a hoarder. And then just snip, 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 round off the edges, fill the hole with paint, and yep, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Now for the friend, it's the same process over again. And next is the strawberries. They're both very rough, literally. They feel kind of like sandpaper. Lots of paint falling off, and I just kept on finding more rips and chunks and just general destruction. Their stems are just a hot mess, but at least they're still attached. That counts for something. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy with these. Just use puffy paint to clean up the mess, fill in the holes, seal up the rips, you know, the usual. And finally, the ice cream cone gang. Well, let's just call it the ice cream gang because we don't want to offend, you know anyone. So yes, the scoop is missing its cone, and I'm sure it is very insecure about that. But it's so soft. Like, it just melts. It's so soft. And it's weird because this one is like the exact same squishy, but it's not soft. Why? Just why? He may have his cone, but he's got problems of his own, okay? Oh, yeah. And now we have the golden child. So this is weird. Why is the entire squishy just solid gold? I don't know. The paint is flaking off a lot and there's these little holes on the top. Why is everything a face? But there aren't any rips in this one, probably because it's like so tough. It feels like rubber. That's enough of that. So again, we're repairing. Oh, it just keeps on going. You can't lay here. And for the ones with the cones, I'm actually going to remove them because I just want the ice cream scoops. Repairs, repairs, repairs. I'm going crazy. Okay, okay. I'm going to leave a little bit more on the cone on this one because I want it to have a little bit of height, you know, stand a little taller than its friends. Also, this one is going to get a special little cherry on the top. So I'm cutting that out, gluing it on, securing it with paint, and it's, it's a cheese ball. Okay, finally, everyone is healed and ready to come together. So I'm gonna start placing them in position. This is gonna be kind of like a banana split, but not really because the bananas aren't split. Um, and it's, it's just different in different ways, but it is a giant bowl of ice cream with bananas, strawberries, and whipped cream. I had some difficulties with the strawberries because they weren't fitting in the space very well. I tried using just one of them. I tried cutting one in half. It just wasn't working. So I swapped them out with these smaller strawberries that I dug up and I was able to get those to fit somewhat okay. So yes, I did all the work on the strawberries for nothing and this one died for no good reason. It's okay, maybe they'll come back in a future episode. Now it's time to secure these in place. So I'm using my fabric glue and gluing everyone down. They're a family now, whether they like it or not. Now that everyone's settled, um, there are a lot of gaps and holes in there and that's just not cute. So I decided to take random chunks of foam and shove them in there to fill all of the empty areas. I was trying to do this very neatly, but at this point, I was getting a little worried. Like, it was just getting really complicated, such a mess, um, but I was already like two days into this project, so just, just keep going. And now to seal everything in, I'm filling the spaces with a buttload of paint. It's just like swimming in paint. I need to make sure that everyone is secured really well. I don't wanna see cracks, I don't wanna see holes, and now this is possibly the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It looks like some diseased ice cream, a couple pickles, and a cheese ball floating in a bowl of mustard. So this is the time to make this look a little bit nicer. I've got my three little containers and I'm just gonna mix up my ice cream colors and I am mixing matte paint and puffy paint which I like to do because you get the benefits of both types of paint. Anyway, we've got the classic flavors and oh, they look like ice cream already. 
kind of. And now, the moment I've been waiting for, I get to start painting this thing. This was such a long process, 10 surgeries, and then trying to get everyone situated in the bowl properly, it took so, so long. So let's clarify the situation we have here. We've got three main ice cream scoops, and then the little ice cream tops are supposed to be like dollops of whipped cream, you see? Yeah. Oh, this is where I decided to switch the vanilla and the strawberry anyway. So I went with pretty classic colors because I feel like they look really nice together. <coughs> Ow. Ow, that hurt. Now that the top is under control, I'm gonna turn my attention to the bottom, so I'm just gonna flip it into a container to hold it, and I'm painting the bowl a light blue because I felt that would look nice with the colors we were already working with. I did wanna get rid of that orange skin texture as much as possible, so I applied many, many coats of paint to try to cover that up. Of course, we have to paint the top of the bowl as well, which really just brings it all together. And then I spent an eternity touching up, going back over things. There are so many awkward places to paint, like where the paintbrush doesn't fit or you like, you can't get your hand in there. So I just kept messing up and like having to go over things. Now it's time for the toppings. I'm painting on some drippy hot fudge onto the vanilla scoop and then a little fudge drizzle on the strawberry scoop, which looked really wiggly. So I went in with a toothpick to clean it up and some flat whipped cream for the chocolate scoop. And here they are. Oh, yay! Every sprinkle has been lovingly placed. That's a little much. The final thing to do is to paint on the little leaf for the strawberry. And there we go. From this to this. I mean, it's kind of a weird comparison because before it was basically just a big collection of unrelated, old, used up squishies. And now it's, I mean, it's, I think it's pretty epic. 10 squishies in total. I think this used around seven or eight bottles of paint. It was intense. I don't know how to squish this, but I'm super proud of how it came out. I think it's safe to say this is my favorite squishy I've done so far. I'm not really sure what could be filling uh, the bottom of this bowl. I guess it's just more ice cream. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this special episode and I will see you next week. Bye.